Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Brookings Harbor and all the fishing boats at sea. I'm Cousin Bruce Ellis. And I'm Kat Liddell. And And this this is the Insider Insider Report. Report. So let your ears do the walking as we fill you in on what's going on in the Brookings Harbor area and beyond. beyond. Well, hello, 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 and welcome to this week's show that keeps you in the know. Hey, hey, Kat, happy Monday to you. Well, hi, Bruce. Happy Monday to you as well. And a big congratulations for the second place apple pie thing. We were talking Uh about it. It's so funny when... She came into the studio. I just happened to get on Facebook and caught Jason's Facebook post about Cat here, won second place. And it was funny. She just mentioned last week about going to go do it. Yeah. So this was was the, uh, for for context, this was the uh, Cider on Sunday event that they have every year at the Checo Valley Museum. Mm -hmm. The Historical Society there does a fundraiser. There's apple pressing for cider. They do homemade apple fritters. That's just apples, 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 as far as the eye can see, (laughs) including an apple pie contest. And they have a division for youth and for adults as well. And this was my first time entering. I was like, well, I make a pretty good apple pie. And I put that out there. And there were like 21 pies in the adult category. So I was, I was very honored. I was a very nice, nice little uh, kudos for the pie baking, which is really cool. So that was nice. And, and absolutely congratulations to Melissa, who took first place. And we got to trade some baking tips while we were waiting for the, uh, for the results to come out. So that was super, super cool. Yeah, well, that's funny that you guys both were talking. You were telling me earlier that you yeah. guys were both talking and mm-hmm. you realized, wow, we're both kind of using the same base and have watched right, the same like, baking like We have show. similar methods, uh, so like similar philosophies on baking and first stuff. First and <laughs> second, bam. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, oh, we hit it off. And it was, uh, yeah, it was cool. So congratulations to her, the reigning yeah. queen yeah, of yeah. the apple pie Yeah, she contest. got her, yeah. So good for her, good for Melissa, yeah. But yeah. you got the prettiest one because of your little, <laughs> you did the... Uh, Somebody, what? like, people had a lot to say about the little, like, uh, pie crust apple leaves that I put on the pie, which was, was very sweet. I just, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. W- what do you call that when you crisscross... Uh, that's a lattice crust. Lattice mm-hmm. crust. Yeah, lattice. she did a lattice crust. It was very cool. Mm-hmm. If you, if you mm-hmm. got the Facebook and you see it, it's yeah. very cool on there. Yeah, it's very, uh, yeah, pretty yeah, neat. Very yeah. Pretty. So, yeah, that was really nice. That was nice, nice praise that I got. <laughs> that made me all blushy and stuff. But, yes, it was really cool. It's a fun contest, very low stakes, and, yeah, it's a great event. Yeah, so. you guys, that's great. Well, mm-hmm. And then you came – and I just remember last week you saying, hey, I'm here to that. It's like, yeah, great. That's uh-huh. so cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> <That's> awesome. <laughs> so that very was, yeah, cool. great time, great time. Yeah. yeah. How about you? How was your weekend? Uh, it was good. Yeah, we just went over best and hung out, and, uh, we, like I said, we cleaned the garage. So we didn't have a very exciting weekend at all. Just kind of cleaned mm-hmm. the garage and then watched some sports and everything. I kind of enjoyed it and getting ready for this rain to come down mm-hmm. on us that you got going yeah. on, which is very cool. You know, it's yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, we need it but yeah it, they Gate called season. it just right they mm-hmm. called it just right that's for mm-hmm. sure but yeah mm-hmm. that's what we did and uh yeah junior uh back in school and everything so mm-hmm. we're just like yeah that's it life is going on normal no more events as we talked about <laughs> it's kind of or, or kind no of, more events that you're in charge of yeah no more the events to be in charge of that's plenty, what we were just talking about plenty as we were looking at our script going on here so no worries <laughs> yeah. there mm-hmm. it's funny though as we were talking mm-hmm. earlier too there's a lot still going on in october and mm-hmm. uh you know uh yeah, and, and flowing into November and everything, and mm-hmm. you, that was interesting. You said that, that well, p- people doing events kind of realize the summer's all taken up every weekend for one way or another, and uh, mm-hmm. got to lead it into the winter. But as long as it's mm-hmm. an indoor event, that's groovy. That that's that's fine. That works out fine for absolutely. You know, this is Brookings, man. That's the way it rolls. It's we Oregon. figure it out. Yeah, Sometimes we do it despite the rain. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> hey, we also have a guest in the house here. We got more to talk about, so we'll get on with the show. Before we go, I'd like to thank Trike City Dispensary, the Oregon South Coast Fishermen, otherwise known as the Castaways, just the jeweler, and Oregon Coast VIP Marketing for sponsoring the Insider Report. And if you'd like to sponsor our show or one of the other fine shows on KCIW, all you gotta do is go to KCI w.org and you will be on your merry way and yes indeed as i said to guests in the house here we got our favorite castaway himself mr dave keen with the fishing report what's going on out there besides the rain right now hey bruce hey cat good to be back there was like 30 boats out there on friday oh yes in the estuary (laughs) oh it's crazy yes and it's getting a little contentious out there this part of my report actually okay but i've I've been gone a couple weeks Uh, we were up at winchester bay with our group uh fishing and crabbing i saw had a great (laughs) time crabbing was so amazing um, our, our wives finally said, no more. Stop crabbing. <laughs> the fridge is full. <laughs> they got crabby. <laughs> and so we had to stop. But we caught some salmon as well. So we had a good trip. Right. You know, a little 
a lot of fun. But now I'm back here, and I'll take a look at the estuary a little bit later today, see how many boats are in the rain. I'm sure there's some out there. Oh, I'm good. Sure. Oh, okay. Okay, as far as the fishing report goes, in the ocean, we still have Pacific halibut open until the end of the month. It will close on October 31st. So we can still go out and get our Pacific halibut when ocean conditions are favorable. Right. Uh, the Dungeness Crab is still open. It will close on October 16th to November 30th. It'll open again December 1st. They always, we always try to get some Christmas crab, New Year's crab. So do the commercials. But in the past, that demolic acid tends to pop its head up in that time frame. And sometimes we're, we're closed because of that demolic acid. So we'll see what... What brings this year? Oh, okay. Because, you know, a lot of the climate change, the global warming, the ocean conditions, the ocean has been heating up. Mm -hmm. uh, so that tends to lead to that demolic acid buildup. So we'll, we'll wait and see on that. But right now you can go out and get some crab. Yeah. Bottom fish is still open. So you can still get your five rockfish and two lingcod. So that's, that's a good thing. Now we'll turn our attention to the Chetco River. So we were just talking about in the estuary from the mouth all the way up to River Mile 2.2. .2, it is open for uh, salmon fishing. And your back door. Chinook. And it is back, <laughs> basically just down from my back door. Yeah. So I'm a little above the 2.2. Two. Oh, right. oh, yeah. And, and two so, and a half, I think that is. Yeah, yeah. yeah right. Yeah. You're right about that. And that's a magic spot, that 2.2 .2 river mile. It's yeah. where the power lines go over, kind of like near at River's Edge. Uh -huh. uh, because above 2.2 .2 river mile, you cannot troll for salmon like they're doing in the estuary. They have an anti-snagging rule, so you have to use bobber only or some kind of marking oh. device. Uh -oh. You can't use a weight on the bottom itself. And so that's to mm. kind of deter people from snagging the fish. Right. Okay. Oh, okay. So it's bobber fishing only. And then you go all the way up to Nook Creek. Above Nook Creek, salmon fishing is closed. That's been on a, a permanent rule for a number of years. So once the salmon make it that far, they're free to go spawn. They're cool. I mean, a salmon's life is so hard when you think about what has to happen. Oh, my gosh. A smolt to get the, down the river with the birds and the... And other fish eating you, and then in the ocean with seals, sea lions, humans, killer whales, and come back and go through the gauntlet here at the estuary and then try to make it all the way up. Yeah, there ain't quite... no song of salmon's life for me. <laughs> <laughs> you should make one up. Yeah, yeah. The call of the salmon, right? Yeah. Uh, let's see. One more fish we could talk about, uh, steelhead fever. It always is a big thing around here. Steelhead will open on December 1st on the ah, Chetco okay. River. Like a little while. So pretty much that's what I have for a fish report. We do have a club meeting okay. coming up next Wednesday, October 18th. October 18th, 5.30 p.m. at the Brookings Library. All right. So we'll be there for that. Then one more activity that the whole populace is invited. We always participate as a club. The October 28th, Stringing the Lights at Azalea yes, Park. Yes, yep, yep. So yep. We'll we got a notice on that to talk about perfect. and invite people well, to come. They sent me a thing, yep, so I can get Some of our castaways will be there. Yeah, we always good. show up within a group to help decorate. So <sighs> we'll be there for that. I know that's a lot of Hard to believe it's coming up. Oh, my We're gosh. talking Christmas already. I, no. Strange. It takes time <laughs> it takes to nice. put them things up it does. there, man. I mean, yep, uh, they started does. doing the ground and everything. Like, psh, forget about so, it. It's crazy. Better get started early with how big it is. It's beautiful, beautiful show. Well, as long as the guys can still get out there, that's groovy. So, you know, uh, mm -hmm. as long as the weather, it's the wind is that. It's the it's wind and so waves. Rain. Rain, not so it's much the, the rain yeah, for us. Gotcha. Yep, it's wind I'm, and waves. I'm picking up on you, ocean fishermen. That's very cool. <laughs> right on. No, Excellent. Cool. Well, thanks a lot. Always, always pleasure to have you on board there, Mr. Dave. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it's like a. Can't wait till he's, we're back out on the boat again one time with you out on, we'll the, out on the boat with our yeah, man it, on the boat, our man on the water. Happen. We'll yeah. figure it out one of these days. That's, yeah. that's always fun. Yeah. That was fun. Yeah. And congratulations, Kat, on your oh, second thanks. place. Oh, yeah. Apple pie. Yeah. Have a great one. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Bye. Always a pleasure. Bye bye, guys. Oh, that's great. Yep. Always cool. All right, well, we better get into our music schedule here. We're having too much fun. Yeah, so Cisco and Daltrey are playing on the 11th and the 25th at the Checo Activity Center, music running from 11 a.m. to 1.30. And then on the 19th, they'll be at Seaview Senior Living from 4 to 6 p.m. That's right, and then the Tony Land Band will be playing on the 28th at Coon Tide from 6 to 8. And Mike Powell is playing on the 27th and the 28th at Elk Valley Casino in Crescent City, music running from 7.30 to 10.30. 
And the Bloodline Band will be playing on the 13th at Oxen Free at 9 p.m. Right on. I know a couple people in that band. And yep. Hey Disturbing, the piece is playing on the 28th at the Moose Lodge in McKinleyville, California, down in Humboldt there from 7 to 11. Yeah, if anybody's not familiar with it, the Bloodline Band is Mike Powell and his two sons. All right, mm-hmm. uh, As well as Stephen Scruggs on drums at the moment. Oh, he yeah. is mm-hmm. on drums all mm-hmm. of a sudden. Yes, he is. I saw that. Stephen, yeah, very cool. Very oh, cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right on. Okay, so where are we here? The Mighty Steelheads on the 14th. They'll be at Port of Pints at 8 p.m. And on the 20th and 21st, they'll be at Elk Valley Casino at 7 p.m. And the Italian guys are playing on the 13th at Kuntai. Music at 6 there. And then on the 27th, they'll be at Tortuga Mexican Restaurant playing at 6 o'clock. And on the 28th, they'll be at the Inateca in Crescent City. Music starts there at 7 p.m. Yep, and then Ranch Party will be playing on the 27th at Kuntai, 6 to 8. And Danielle and Ohana are playing on the 21st at Abigail's. This is from noon to 2 p.m. Yeah, and then P.A. and T. Royal will be jamming it up on the 14th at Coon Tai, 6 to 8 p.m. Yep. And the Elk Valley Casino has some events. First off at the Betty Green Center on the 14th, it's Carl Lee, a stand-up comedian at 8 o'clock. On the 21st, it's Seven Summers, a Morgan Wallen tribute at 8 o'clock. And then on the 28th, it's going to be Cosmic Bingo. The time for that is still TBD. But at the Warriors Bar and Grill on the 13th and 14th, is Jesse Mead at 7. On the 20th and 21st, the Mighty Steelheads play at 7. And then on the 27th and the 28th, it's Mike Powell playing from 7.30 to 10.30. Yep, and then the Rogue Strings, they're going to be playing on the 14th at Flespies, 9 a.m. to midnight. That sounds like a very long time to be playing music. All right. Uh, 9 p.m. to midnight. Yeah, no doubt. Wait, who put that in there? Yeah, that's I said 9 a.m. Yeah, they're doing this all day show. No, <laughs> that's it's not a marathon. No, it's 9 p.m. to midnight. Sorry about that. <laughs> there we Good go. Good catch. <laughs> and at the Inateca in Crescent City, they've got the Frog Bite Band on the 21st <laughs> yeah. at 8 p.m. And on the 28th, once again, they're going to have the Italian guys playing at 8 yeah, the Frog Bite Band. I love it. Boy, mm-hmm. The name's coming out of Crescent City. And then Misty Mountain Brewer, to finish this off, on the 13th, they have Lon Goddard. On the 20th, David Clark. And on the 28th, it's an anniversary Halloween party. They won't be having any music, but they'll be having some fun down there on the anniversary. Mm-hmm. There you go. Okay. So, yes, indeedy. And if you have any music out there that you want us to uh, get on the air here, all you got to do is send it to me, Captain Curry 541 at gmail.com, and we'll get it on the air for you. Hey, before we get going here, I got one to call out. Somebody emailed me some info here for this next weekend. The VFW Post 966 at 507 Pacific Avenue is under new leadership and is having a special fundraising weekend. This will be Saturday and Sunday, October 14th and 15th. Both days will be 9 to 3 and include a rummer sale. Model plane collection will be in that rummage sale. And then a barbecue a meet and greet. You can come meet all the new board members and hear about the history and plans to save this historical building for the community. And a special reconstruction fund has been set up at RVCU and is ready for donations. For more information, you can contact Post Commander Jerry Law at 541-254-0892. So they got a special fundraising weekend coming up there. Right. There we go. Now we can get on with our stuff yeah. there. Well, we have a full lineup of October events happening at the Checo Library this month in Brookings. First up, they're having an Our Neighbors Present event. This month, it's Local Mushrooms with Kathleen Dixon. This is going to be on Thursday, the 12th at 3 p.m. Join local mushroom enthusiast Kathleen Dixon to learn more about the variety of mushrooms in our area. And then on Saturday, the 14th at 1 o'clock, they're having a free documentary screening. This month, it's about the life and times of Genghis Khan, founder of the Mongol Empire. And then on the 21st, a big date coming up here. They're going to have their 30th anniversary celebration. This is happening all day, again, Saturday, the 21st of October. So the library building turned 30 this year. Drop in for a free ice cream social, some live music by the Rowdy Creek String Band from noon to one, and a display of historical library memorabilia. All are welcome. And then on Tuesday, the 24th at 4 o'clock, they are going to have a hands-on workshop creating gore on stage. Join theater nerds Kat, Michaela, and Jason to learn how to make cool practical effects with stage blood, makeup, and sound effects just in time for Halloween. Gloves and aprons will be provided, but we strongly recommend wearing clothes that you don't mind getting stained. (laughs) And then Book Arts with Tori, a workshop is happening on Wednesday, the 25th at 1 o'clock. 
And this is also a free hands-on crafting workshop in which local artist Tori Bowen demonstrates how to make handcrafted books and journals. This month's theme is Dia de los Muertos, otherwise known as Day of the Dead. And then there are two workshops coming up here for Dungeons and Dragons for Beginners. The first one's happening on Saturday, October 28th, and the other one is on Saturday, November 4th. Both are at 3 p.m. You can join Library Intern D to learn about character creation and the basic mechanics of Dungeons and Dragons in a welcoming, beginner-friendly environment. And if you have any questions about the programs or services or events offered at the Checkco Library, you can always check out their events calendar at checkcolibrary.org. You can follow them for updates on Facebook. You can visit the library at 405 Alder Street or give them a call at 541 541- Four six nine seven seven three eight. Yeah, Southwestern Oregon Community College Curry Campus Wild Rivers Coast Food Trail. This is happening on the eleventh from noon to one p.m. Would you like to buy more locally harvested foods? Support producers and restaurants that work hard to grow and use local ingredients. If your answer is yes, you won't want to miss this informative presentation. The Wild Rivers Coast Food Trail is a collaborative effort to connect locals and visitors to the bounty available on Oregon's south coast. Supporting local food is a way to support our communities. The program is sponsored by the Friends of Curry Campus, will be presented by Kathleen Dixon and the Community Room on Southwestern's Curry Campus, 96082 Lone Ranch Parkway, off of Highway 101, Brookings. For more information about the Curry Campus, contact them at 541-813-1667. All right. Hey, now it's time for quotes from famous people with Cousin Bruce. Yeah, hey, here are a few quotes from rock star Sammy Hagar. He was born on the... 13th of October, 1949. Didn't realize he was that old. That's right. He says, I see couples fighting about the stupidest things. You just have to rise above everything. Every year on your birthday, uh, you get a chance to start new. Good call, good call. If you don't ever stop singing, your voice stays in shape. It's like the marathon runner. You got to run, run, run to stay in shape. Last but not least, I can't drive 55. I hope you enjoyed this week's quotes from uh, Sammy Hagar with Cousin Bruce. Till next week, have a great one. Well, that's one of his most famous quotes. Okay, okay. Let's <laughs> <laughs> say, can't slow down or can't speed up. I can't, <laughs> I can't drive 55. It's ambiguous. Yes, right. All right. Right. Hey, Four Castle Books and Gallery, located at 553 Checo Avenue, is presenting their monthly poetry reading. This month, they're featuring Earl E. Moore on the 12th of October at 6.30 p.m., In his first volume of dramatic verse, She Oregon, Earl Moore presents a vision of awakening with his relationship to Oregon. In this collection, Moore explores a variety of themes, including the exploitation of Oregon, its land, water, indigenous peoples, and the perceived myths he does not accept. He bends to making up his own myths. For years, Moore was a guest reader in school classrooms in Curry County, Oregon, as the reading wizard of Odd. During those years, Moore also conducted literary open mic sessions at Gold Beach Books. For more information about this event, you can contact Michael Spring. It's 541-450-1115. Yeah, and then we got the Lions Clubs of Oregon Recycle for Sight Eyeglasses Collection Day. This is happening on October 14th at McKay's Market, 10 a.m. to noon. Fred Myers, noon to 2. And then at Grocery Outlet, 2 to 4. And if you can't make it on the 14th, there are other year-round collection sites at Fred Meyer Eye Center, the Checo Activity Eye Center, the Eye Center with Dr. Walker, Brookings Elks Lodge, Precision Eye Care, Checo Community Library, Seaview Senior Living, Pacific Coast Hearing Center, and Hearing Health Care, Inc. So you can drop off your glasses at any of those places. Lots of opportunities there. Yes, there is. All right, Turtle Rock RV Park and Resort is presenting the Turtle Rock Fall Festival. This is happening on the 14th of October from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. You're invited to celebrate fall with them at the first ever Turtle Rock Fall Festival. Bring the kids, pick out a pumpkin at the pumpkin patch, take a hayride, play some old-fashioned family games, win prizes, and enjoy the season. And if you want to know more about this event, you can call 541-247-9203. And hey, now it's time for a bit of weird history with Bushwhacker Bruce. Right. G'day, cat. G'day, mates. Bushwhacker Bruce here, and welcome to this week's bit of weird history for your knowledge pleasure. Did you know that a war was named after a captain's anatomy? It's true. And here's the story. This is the War of the Jenkins Ear. War between Great Britain and Spain that began in October 1739 and eventually merged into the War of the Austrian Succession, 1740 to 1748. It was precipitated by an incident that took place in 1738 when Captain Robert Jenkins appeared before a committee of the House of Commons. 
and it exhibited what he alleged to be his own amputated ear, cut off in April 1731 in the West Indies by Spanish Coast Guards, who had boarded his ship, pillaged it, and then set it adrift. Public opinion had already been aroused by other Spanish outrages on British ships, and the Jenkins episode was swiftly exploited by the members of Parliament, who were in opposition to the government of Robert Walpole. The attitude of the English people was that the Spanish must be taught a lesson. They can't be allowed to cut off Englishmen's ears. But had it really been cut off by the Spanish, or had he lost it in a pub brawl? Well, we shall never know, but the ear was to start a war between Spain and England in 1739, and consequently the war is remembered as the War of the Jenkins Ear. Without a doubt, this ear must be the most famous one in history. And when asked what Captain Jenkins thought about the war being named after his ear, his response was, What? <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this week's Better Way History with yours truly, Bushwhacker Bruce. Until next time, keep it real, but always keep it weird. <laughs>I I'm couldn't, sorry. I couldn't resist. Sorry, sorry. What did you say, Bruce? I couldn't quite hear you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I couldn't resist. Like, yeah, yeah. He was My asked goodness. about it, and he said, "What?" All righty. <laughs> okay. And here we have some. I, I always like to have disclaimers. Sometimes when I'm like, I, I'm given copy here, and I read it aloud. Latitude 42 <laughs> Bar and Grill is presenting Men Next Door Uncovered on the 14th of October at 9 p.m. A Magic Mike experience. Ladies, they say, although I say anybody who enjoys a good male stripper, don't miss That's out on the best <laughs> girls' night out ever. Check out Latitude 42's website. You can learn more about this show. They say there are very limited tickets. This show is two hours long, packed with choreographed costume acts and interaction with the audience. They say it's a huge novelty. They expect it to sell out, so they suggest you buy your tickets ahead of time. And if you have any questions, they don't include price information here, so if you have any questions about that, you can go to their Facebook page. And send them a message. That's right. Or go look at it on there. They got it all there. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Hey, the Brookings Emblem Club, number 265, is having a community fundraiser at the Brookings Elks Lodge. This is happening on the 14th, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. The Brookings Emblem Club community fundraiser for local charities. They might actually do this on the 15th as well if they still have inventory. The rummage sale will be at the Brookings Elks Lodge. And if you'd like to donate, please contact Ruth Bossa at 773 773- Five six nine eight six eight seven. All right. And Carol's Dance is presenting a ballroom dance party. It's going to be featuring the Cha Cha on the fifteenth at the Checo Grange. They have a lesson from one to two p.m. Open dancing from two to three p.m. And you can learn to do the Cha Cha one step at a time. Uh-huh. And the theme for this one is fall colors. Very fun. For information about that, you can call nine one six two one four six three nine eight. Yeah, one step at a time. I see what you did there. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Brigging's Harbor Garden Club is presenting Choosing Native Plants for Your Landscape. This is with guest speaker Darcy Grayheck, owner of the Stillwater's Native Nursery and Banding. This is happening on the 16th at 5 p.m. at the Checkco Library. This presentation explains how to assess your landscape and choose appropriate species for your garden's own climate. Mm-hmm. Okay, there you go. Very important stuff. And the Checo Playhouse, or Queen of Darkness Productions, depending on what advertising you see, they are yeah. presenting a 20th anniversary haunted house. Yeah. This year's theme is Slasher Street, and this is happening at a different location this year. They're at the Harbor Shopping Center at 97900 Shopping Center Avenue, and it's actually taking place in one of the theater's former locations in that uh, performing arts area above the DMV. The opening night for that is the 20th of October, and it'll be running on the 21st, the 22nd, the 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, and 31st. And the hours for that are 7 to 10 p.m. Yes, indeed. And that, that's pretty cool, though. They're going mm-hmm. back to the roots, as Claire said. And mm-hmm. it's like, you know, I, I, I was able to act on that stage several times when Dory had the theater. She had I performed yep. there a yep. few I got plays to, with her. I got to perform there, too, a time or two in my yeah, day. It was, yeah. a, it was a cool little space. Yeah. yeah, it'll be neat. Yeah, I'd like to see how when it's all done and arranged. That'll look really mm-hmm. cool. Well, mm-hmm. their first haunted house happened to be in that location. So Yeah, there you go. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, 20 years later. There you go. Hey, Friends of Music are presenting Quarteto Latin Americano. This is going to be at the Seventh-day Adventist Church, 102 Park Avenue in Brookings on October 22nd, 3 p.m. Join them for the next performance in the 2022-23 Friends of Music Concert Series. 
Quartetto Latin Americano is one of the world's most renowned string quartets and for 40 years the leading proponent of Latin America music for the genre. Founded in Mexico in 1982, the Quartetto has toured extensively throughout Europe, North and South America, Israel, China, Japan, and New Zealand. Admission is just $20 and students 18 and under are always free. Tickets are available for purchase at the door online at Rides Custom Art and Framing in Brookings or Del Norte Office Supply in Crescent City. For more information, you can email to info at P-P-A-D-E-L-N-O-R-T-E dot org. There you go. Mm-hmm. P-P-A Del Norte. Yeah. All right. And the Manly Arts Center is featuring the works of Elizabeth Roberts this month. You can meet the Marine Debris Artist at the Saturday Art Walk on October 14th from 3 to 6 at the Manly Arts Center. Ten years ago, artist Elizabeth Roberts volunteered for a Marie Debris cleanup expedition that would forever change her life. While picking up litter in the Gulf of Alaska, she became horrified by how much trash, 80,000 pounds of mostly non-biodegradable toxic plastics, was accumulating on this remote, uninhabited island. She learned from research scientists as she witnessed firsthand how the long-term consequences of our reliance on plastic and the chemicals they're made from was absolutely destroying the marine ecosystem. What started as an exciting summer adventure developed into a committed crusade to use her skills as an artist to educate people about the devastating impacts of plastic pollution in our aquatic environments. Elizabeth Roberts' show will run for the entire month of October at the Manly Arts Center, and that's at 433 Oak Street in Brookings. Yupper, yupper, and the Curry Health Foundation Golf for Health Tournament at the Salmon Run Golf Course will be happening on the 21st of October. Hello, golfers. Curry Health Foundation is excited to host their third annual Golf for Health Tournament, beautiful Salmon Run Golf Course in Brookings on Saturday, October 21st. Proceeds raised by the tournament will help support local nonprofit projects targeting health and wellness needs in Curry County. This year's tournament will include an on-course contest with prizes for the winners and a great raffle opportunity to participate in it. The entry fee is 100 per player, and the format is Best Ball Scramble. Included in the entry fee is a continental breakfast and a fabulous post-game barbecue provided again this year courtesy of Larry Weston. So all you golfers out there, pull together a team or sign up as a single player, and they'll match you up with others. The registration is at 8 a.m. and the shotgun at 9 a.m. You can sign up on the internet at www curryhealthfoundation.com or register by phone by calling Eleanor at 408-242-9503 or the office messaging at 541-247-3198. And that is it. We got to get out of here. We got the flying fickle mm-hmm. finger of fate and we got this thing down. Woo, that was a good one. So yeah. before we go, we want to make sure they give a shout out to support local businesses and also remember that the second Saturday Art Walk is going to be happening downtown this Saturday mm-hmm. as well. From three Great to opportunity to support three local. Three to six. There you go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it's time to close the show. Before we go, I'd like to give a shout out to our fearless producer, Brother Tom, for all his great work making us look and sound good on the radio. I want to thank you all for tuning into this week's Insider Report. And please make sure to tune in on a daily basis to KCIW 100.7 FM and listen to all the fine shows that they have to offer. And you can also catch all the fantastic show podcasts, including the Insider Report at kciw.org. And while you're there, check out the live streaming as well. Well, hey, till next week, this is Cousin Bruce Ellis. And I'm Kat Liddell. We are signing off, so keep it real and spread the love and the peace every chance you get. And hey, we'll, we'll see, see you out, out there. there. Bam! Bam. Woo. Music credits for the preceding show go to kciw.org slash credits.